Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got a new multi-tool that I'm going to try to EDC. And it's the Victornax Swiss Tool Spirit X Plus. And it's actually this one with the L wrench. And it's the it's model 3.0235 with bit wrench. They also have a, a ratchet driver. And um comes with an extension both of them come with a corkscrew and an eyeglass screwdriver but yeah I got the the L wrench because I found a good price on white mountain knives and I used a discount code from Manila channel and got a pretty good deal on this and um I don't know wasn't sure how the the ratchet was I kind of like the the L driver. We'll we'll check it out. But yeah, there's the model number, um, information on the back of the box. And that's about it. So I haven't opened it up, taken it out or anything. I thought we'd look at it together and check it out. Now. I've never seen one. I've never handled one. I'm going solely on um, the opinion of a few people that I watch on YouTube. Why is something different than Leatherman? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on between them and another company. So, so it's time to try something besides the Wave Plus. So that just slides out. There's the back of the sheath sticker on there. Can't really read it. Right there. Guess it just dumps out. And cool, I wasn't expecting the leather one. Um all the stuff. And there's a diagram of all the tools plus the L wrench and the ratchet right here what where's the English uh, over here so yeah keep this out for reference um we'll look at it go through the tools real fast but yeah I was actually expecting the nylon pouch. Um, this is full leather. Feels pretty nice. Um, let's take that sticker off. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I, I was expecting the nylon pouch and it had like brown. It was black with brown trim. But this is a full leather one. Seems really nice. I like it. Um, now I know these sheaths have Velcro, not my favorite thing. I do prefer a snap button, but check it out. Oh, here's a corkscrew and the little, little tiny eyeglass screwdriver. That actually looks like it would actually work. Um, so many things they say, mini screwdriver for, um, glasses, and they don't work. Case in point, the little, little tiny thing on the Leatherman, it actually fits some of my, my wife's glasses, I think. I tightened hers up with it, but using the whole tool is quite a pain in the butt. Here's the all wrench. We'll check that out in a minute. There's a super tool. You can see the pouch has a space for the corkscrew. I kind of wish it'd go down in further. I wonder. Yeah, I'll probably carry it upside down. I see everything else has it right side up. Little little space for that, pocket in the back for 
the accessories here then the main main pocket for the tool but yeah check it out boy this this actually feels really nice play in the handles just a tiny bit not bad yeah it's got quite a bit a little bit of oil on it clean some of that off definitely I'm not used to the silver multi-tool show you real quick I got the black oxide wave Kind of what I'm used to, um, but very nice. Opens up nice. Lots of oil. See all the oil on it. So, yeah, check it out. That's pretty. That's nice and free. Really easy to open and close in here. Nice pliers. This is just a you know a quick look at it. I'm not gonna go into details and stuff. I'll do updates on this. So if you just want an, a quick look at it, watch the video if you want a full review, come back in a couple weeks or so. But yeah. Got Victorinox right here. I'm liking these pliers. Yeah, very comfortable. Everyone says the curve of the handle and everything's rounded and very comfortable. And I know and the wave, right here on the wave, is one heck of a pinch point, and that's not gonna happen here. Um, I've done that so many times with the wave and don't get me wrong I love the wave but you can see right here boy when these things slip or you cut through something with wire cutters it is so easy oh man I've done that so many times as you learn you learn that to hold it up so close you hold it back here the, the end of the <clears throat> handles but boy it was a learning curve because I did that three four times this one it's not going to be like that and what's nice I can bear down my hands not sliding up up the handle um very cool um let's find a knife blade there, all the tools are on the outside. I like that. Here's the knife blade. Man, a lot of oil. A typical, very, you know, typical Victorinox knife blade. And man, yeah, that is stupid sharp. Find a little piece of paper. You know, sometimes I I test, do a cut test, and um, sometimes I don't. A couple of times I did it, do it during the unboxing. I quickly found out, yeah, knife was dull. But this one is not dull. Holy moly, nice. All the tools, the knife blade, everything's locked. They lock up, so here's a unlock buttons, pull them back, clicks in place. Got the, this is what I was, I kind of wanted, that intrigued me is the chisel tool, got a chisel. Um, I know everybody says this is a, package opener but it's actually to split the sheeting on cables without cutting all the way through nick and wires then you got wire strippers here 
yeah that chisel that pretty sharp so I'm gonna dig that one that's something I know I'll probably use and then you get your typical flathead screwdriver bout opener wire bender that I've never used on anything why well, use that little notch and you got a pair of pliers but it's pretty thick I'm yeah that actually make a nice light pry tool you know for light prying nice big flat head screwdriver see the tip here yeah so then the next one is the awl or reamer but um now on my my tinker which I don't have in this room I use the awl on that all the time for for digging out crevices and stuff like that this thing is pretty sharp I could probably cut paper if I if you really wanted to uh, not quite oh well, no I just tore it but that's a tool I use a lot on my my tinker it's got the parcel hook there um, I don't have a a Tornax knife that has a parcel hook so I've never used it but I'm sure someday somewhere that might be handy and then we got the saw blade wow that's a lot like the one on my um hiker let me I'm going to pause, go get the hiker, and look at it. Okay, I'm back. Um, I meant to pause the video. I guess I stopped it, so I'll have to splice everything together. But, um, yeah. Here is the saw blade and the hiker. And overall, I think the hiker is just... The cutting edge where the teeth are a little bit longer same style teeth this one's thicker than this but pretty slim and this is this is straight looking at this it actually has a slight curve to it so that's pretty cool I have used this one I've used the saw and the wave plus I like having a wood saw and boy talk about sharp so that's the saw that's everything on that side get moving along here let's bring out trying to find a nail nick for the file here we go I like the file you got a single hatch Cut here, cross hatch over here, and you can feel it. Yeah. That's got some bite to it. Plus, got teeth on the edge, so it can work as a little metal file or metal saw. Um, cut a bolt off, make a bolt shorter or something. Yeah, that's. That's pretty um grippy, let me tell you. I don't have anything wood right here to or metal that I can file line. But yeah. That'll come in handy. Now I know I know Wave Plus one I use that file a lot. One side has is a diamond file, which I've I've used, but this will get the job done, no doubt. I like how everything snaps in place. Uh, standard can opener. That thing's pretty. That's got a pretty good edge on it. 
standard bot or yeah can opener flathead screwdriver here's a good one nice Phillips head screwdriver 3d pretty long shank here um, nobody says how long it is so handle uh, handle to the tip about one and three quarters of an inch so that's pretty nice then you open it up like this you got lots of reach Right, close up. So that's that. Which way am I going here? Next one is this. A small flathead screwdriver. Man, the tips are nice on these screwdrivers. I like how they're done. Last but not least are the scissors. Which are pretty cool. Um, I should have. All my stuff I dumped out in the front room. Um, you know, it's got different spring mechanism. I, I think that's more from like the Winger scissors. Um, everybody complains these don't open far enough, but. They're, man, they cut nice. They're going to get the job done. Um, let's try it on paracord. Just doesn't want to get all the way through. There we go. You shove it back in there. It cuts a loose end nice. You fold it over. No problem. I've seen a lot of scissors not cut paracord, especially with a loose end. So, I'm like, no. So, overall, I think this is going to work out nice. Um, real quick look at this the L wrench. It's basically what it's, it is, what it's called, shaped like an L. Um, clearance drives on the ends and they're in there tight so your bit goes in there you can use it this way for more leverage you know this this way on the end speed turn I'm liking that extra tool um, I gotta figure out what bits I use the most that I can add or take away and add. The torques, what are they? Uh, T10, that's good. So, I should, this is a T15, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, T10, T15, that's a common, common one. So I should put a T6 in there. T6 and T10 should, or I said that was a 10. Yeah, so I should probably put a 6 and an 8. Then maybe a bigger um, hex head to fit my needs. I'll put a 6 and an 8 torques in there for knives so I have them in hand. But yeah. This thing just kind of clips in here, like a net. That slides back there. Put that in upside down, and this slides in like so. Very nice, very nice and compact. Um, now, with the wave. You know, with a bit kit, you got 42 blade or 42 different bits, but they're all the flat bits. And then I got a bit extender, and this is a Skimp Solution sheath. Um, I think it's the L, 
which I really like. Nice, nice compact. So the Victorinox is a little bit taller. Ultimately, it's about the same, same thickness. Uh, about the same size. It's a little taller. The Spirit X is a little bit longer than the Wave. But yeah. Wanted to make this a short video. I kind of rambled on a little bit, but just a quick look at the Victorin X Spirit X Plus. That's the plus. Comes in nice leather sheath. The only drawback to that is the Velcro. Yeah. So stay, you know, stay tuned. Um, I'm definitely going to be rocking this, using it, trying it out. And I'll give, you know, updates every now and then on how it's doing. But yeah, that's the Victorinox Spirit X Plus. And I guess that's it for this video. Um, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And until next video, bye.